Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. As we speak, I'm wearing a shirt that I, with help from my parents, have made for Christmas and such. It's supposed to help with social recognition, and I hope you could see it properly. You know? Severely apologize about the angling. So, um, I really hope that it's all worth it in the long run, you know? And I'll just cut to the chase now. These are the two characters. You know how it is. Rhino. Real name, Emil Hortons. Height, 7 feet, 8.5 inches. Weight, 5.5 tons. Status hero in former Safari Explorer. Base, Africa, Mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, moody and tough, yet extremely willful. He recently will do anything to protect the innocents. Lethality, highly deadly. It's never wise to be in his way. Weaknesses, gunpowder. He also has bad anger issues. Powers. Imagine a rhinoceros with the mind of a human. He also has self-resurrection, along with the ability to speak English. Eyes like gray, hair none, formerly black. Origin. Emil Hortons was once a safari explorer until he got killed by a pride of lions. Soon, Emil was confronted by Satana, who decided to have him live as long as the planet lives in the form of any animal he chooses. Since he was a child, his favorite animal was the rhinoceros, so Emil was to this day a rhino with the mind and speech of a human. One day, Rhino was transported by portal to downtown London, where he helped Denstrini with a fight against Cassandra and Living Tank. Eventually, Rhino spends his free time eating the native plants in Africa, and he later gets hired by Mr. Awkward as a member of the Legion of Men. Costume, none. Game, solitary, with the Legion of Men and other heroes. Orchid inspiration, Rhinos. Here's the other character. Toro. Real name, none. Height, 7 feet, 3.5 inches. Weight, 3.5 tons. Status, villain, and rival of Rhino and Herculea. Base, Grease, Mobile. Intelligence, Three Brains. Behavior, menacing, stubborn, and utterly destructive. He'll do anything to demolish both Rhino and Herculea. Lethality, highly lethal to most opponents. Weaknesses, he has bad anger issues. He's also colorblind. Powers, he has sharp, sharp hooves and horns, great speed, a strong healing factor, and can project streams of flames from his snout. He later gained the ability to speak English. Eyes, blood red, hair, white and scruffy. Origin. Toro is the notorious Cretan bull of Greek mythology. After he was contained for a time by Hercules, Toro considered it to be a disgrace to his reputation. While minding his own business, Toro ended up getting trapped in a hidden cave, where he decided to hibernate for a time. By the present day, a group of unwitting scientists made the mistake of opening the cave and waking Toro. After a time of destruction, Toro ended up getting defeated by Rhino and Herculea, who was the descendant of Hercules. Since then, Toro will stop at nothing to destroy them, never forgiving the one who ruined his past. Costume? None. Team? Solitary or with other villains? Original inspiration? The Cretan Bowl of Greek Mythology. Well. Those are the two characters I'll introduce. Just so you know, I'm planning to uh, make a recording. Like, since you guys were impressed with my uh, video involving the dogs that was 45 seconds long, I think I should try to do that more often. So next time I visit my family, I'm going to bring my camera to record the dogs again. You know, you know how it is. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the year, and until next time, in transmission.